everyone, this is Yael from Yael Alchemy and I'm here with the weekly message of the Divine Masculine to His Beloved for the week of July 31 to August 7th. Okay, and first of all, I'd like to thank everyone who wished me well when I was under the weather. Um, if you've lived in a tropical country, um, you'd realize that this is not really an immunity problem but it's really the weather a lot of people get under the weather because it's humid it's hot and then you get rained on and all that um, but those are perks of living in a country where you can wear shorts and flip-flops all year round <laughs> so anyway we are now in the thick of the Lionsgate portal, which began on the 26th of July. And if you'd like to learn more about that, I speak about it in my Twin Flame weekly video. So please do watch that because there's a special message for twins um, regarding our mission during this time. Okay, so anyway, um, let's get on with the reading. Um, I've already prayed over the cards and shuffled them and at the bottom of the deck uh, we have these cards and these would be the general energies of this reading. Here we have the Four of Pentacles and if you have watched a Twin Flame Weekly for um, this coming week, okay, the Four of Pentacles also appeared for the Divine Masculine and this is establishing things here um, in 3D okay and those are pertaining to this new cycle of loving okay um, I don't know if my camera's blurred okay anyway this new cycle because this is the beginning of a cycle and um, you see here the waters are blessed by this dove and the water is the emotion that's flowing out of this chalice the chalice has a lot of it's bejeweled the biggest jewels on it though if you notice are amethysts the color violet the color of the violet flame so it's transmuted. That's why if the emotions run through this um, chalice, which has the jewels of transmutation, pink, well, these are supposed to be, where are the pink jewels? Well, rubies are red. But pink is the color for unconditional love. And you have here, I think these are emeralds. But anyway, there are diamonds and emeralds there. Well, the point is, is that the emotion that flows through this new chapter of how people love, how people um, give emotion to each other, it's already transmuted. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have here the Justice card. Justice bringing things into balance. So this new way of loving is more balanced here. This will, um, this is being ushered in, being established by the Divine Masculine. So it's his turn now, okay, to establish it on, you know, in a 3D practical way. And then, uh, for this new way of loving that is balanced, and you know, this is also means making things right. And this, so this is like his goal here. He's coming very close to it. This is the Ten of Wands. And you see here, there's just a little bit of steps to be negotiated, but, uh, but he's nearing his goal. And after that, once he gets to it, there will be celebrations all around. Okay, now let's see what this pertains to, if this is connected to the main message of the Divine Masculine. First card we have for the Divine Masculine is the Hanged Man. And this could pertain to things that have been kept in suspension. 
because this is a pause. Things that have been paused, things that are up in the air, okay? We'll see what that pertains to with the clarifying cards later. Second card for the Divine Masculine is the Emperor card. And the Emperor, because he's in charge of all the other kingdoms, you know, it's, um, it's like the consolidated kingdoms and he takes charge of it this emperor is the energy that fixes things things in its proper place proper categories so that it all works as a whole so making sure that all of the parts work um, in synergy with each other and you see here this king he's, he's sitting in a re rather relaxed position his foot is up on his throne one foot is up on his throne because and he's staring intently at this globe wherein the energies are the globe has um has a yellow aura a golden aura so uh, and what they're saying, this is this is part of the Divine Masculine's mission here during this Lionsgate portal, wherein he's helping because he's holding the globe in his hands and he's anchoring also these light codes and evolutionary templates to help other people ascend. And he knows that this is all part of the bigger picture. And that's why uh, right now the Divine Masculine is just holding space. This scepter here, usually when emperors, they lift their scepters, it's usually when they decree a command, when they decree that something be done, because the scepter is a symbol of power. Now this power is, um, the scepter is not raised at the moment because it's still also in suspension during this time that um, both twins but the divine masculine in this case is holding the space and just keeping still and receiving what he needs to receive that he will later on dish out and sort of pay forward okay so there the next card that we have is the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles she's the highest female um, court card in the suit of the earth okay very 3d because she's very practical she's a very practical queen um, she has abundance she has wealth and this would represent the earth okay because uh, that's the message that I'm getting but for some we'll see later on what this represents if this represents the divine feminine or what okay but anyway she's very practical very nurturing uh she makes sure that everyone is taken care of and fed and nurtured and she provides for all that uh she's seated in a place of comfort but we'll see who this pertains to because i'm also getting other messages regarding this but we'll see if that is confirmed by the clarifying cards the next card we have for the Divine Masculine is the Empress card. And the Empress, look at this. We have the Emperor. This is interesting. We'll see what the message is later on. Because look, we have the Emperor and we have the Empress. You know the Empress, she's again the Divine Consort of the Emperor. So this would more likely indicate the Divine Feminine. And we see here her scepter also is relaxed and she's just sitting there in all her power and in all her glory look while the divine masculine is doing his part okay and in between them we have the Queen of Pentacles and this could signify the karmic partner or the earthly partners of the divine masculines between them for those whose divine masculines are still in those types of relationships that is one and the other thing if if this card the the uh, queen of pentacles 
because she could represent Mother Gaia. Okay? And that's what the twins right now are taking care of. But the sense that this is the karmic is stronger. Um, we'll see what the final card says. Okay? And the final card is the tower card. Very intense energy. As intense as the energies that we will be going through through this Lionsgate portal because uh, look, Lionsgate is from July 26th to the 12th but it climaxes on the on August 8th. That is the peak of the energies. Okay, but again on the 12th, look from on August 7th we have a there are two eclipses in August. On August 7, we have the partial lunar eclipse. On August 21st, we have the total solar eclipse. Again, sandwiched by those two eclipses. So, intense energy is coming through. You know, eclipses in themselves, they bring a lot of change. It's this, the planetary energies, um, they get changed because of these eclipses. They're like um, reset buttons on on your gadgets. You know, when they hang. Yeah, that's why we have here. <laughs> we have here the hanged man. So when your phone hangs, when your computer hangs, there's control, alt, delete, to restart, reset. There's a little button you have to push. This is it. And we're being supported by all these energies that are coming through. Because this is a time where we've already anchored energetically, etherically, 5D onto planet Earth. But um, it needs to be jump-started in order for those to sort of weave in with um, in the 3D grid, energetic grid, which is on another frequency. You know, it, it's like um, we're bridging, bridging that, okay? So here, intense energies. That's as far as the planet is concerned. The reset button when it comes to the twin flame mission of, um, well, if you'd like to be romantic about it, it's bringing heaven down to earth. But when it comes to uh, the personal message of the Divine Masculine, look, we see here this Queen of Pentacles. What was once suspended, that's going to have uh, the verdict is coming in soon. Something, because look, we are all in a phase wherein um, we're shedding what is old because we're building something new. And that means that old outworn structures, relationships, friendships, uh, ways of thinking, they have to be obliterated. And all these energies from all these planetary configurations and the portals that are open at this point in time, they're contributing to this to this jump start. Okay? And that includes the relationships with the karmics. That before, look at this, before everything was in suspension. This is his message to his Divine Feminine. Everything was suspended, okay, because of this. But now, because the Divine Feminine has taken her rightful place and she is now the Empress. And these two have to be together in order to perform their Twin Flame mission while being incarnated here on Earth. We have this to help them. Okay? Now, very quickly, let's pick clarifying cards, but the message here is rather clear already. Okay. Wait, no. More. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Okay, 
for the hangman. Okay. See, this is a pause, a delay in fixing things. For the emperor. Okay. See, he's leaving something. He's all set to depart. For the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. See, this is Amity. So, this is somebody that he has been, it's like a companion. The, the, you see here the dog and the rose. Friends, a companion. And for the Empress card. See, this has also long been delayed. The Empress card. So, okay. I'll summarize later on. And for the Tower card. See? Another Tower card. Very intense energies. Divine Masculine is going through. Because here, look at this. There's something that has been, that, you know, should have been worked on, but has been suspended, has been delayed. And what has been delayed was his departure from this um, companion. Okay? Because things were friendly. You know, or a companion. It's, you know, love the one you're with. Instead of love the one you truly love. Okay? So that has been delayed. His departure from this. And that's why there's also delay here on the part of his coming together with his rightful um, consort. The Divine Feminine, the Empress. But all that, look, it's all up in the air. Because all these delays, this block... Something is going to jolt it so that he can be with the person that he truly loves. Remember here, at the bottom of the deck, bring it down to earth, establishing something, this new kind of love and ways of loving that is in balance. And you all know, how do you, you have balance when you have found your other half within that's what we were concentrated on for the past couple of months and later on without okay without meaning externally okay so don't get me wrong so anyway see here very intense energies that divine masculine is going through because he is recalibrating he wants look at this these cards speak volumes we had this for a long, long time there in between the Emperor and the Empress. But because of these intense energies, look at that. They're going to be together. But right now, that's still what he is going through. That is what the Divine Masculine wants to tell his beloved. Look, even the clarifier cards, it's tower card. Tower card, tower card. Very intense energies. And he just wants to let you know that. Okay? So that's what I have for you. And remember, because we are going through this Lionsgate portal, it's very imperative so that you get the, you know, the most out of this energetic portal, um, which is designed, really, for to activate the grids and the light bodies of those who are receptive to all these energies that are coming down the new light codes and evolutionary templates it is imperative that you are a clear channel and a clear vessel to receive it and that's why i've been guided to offer the rashiba the advanced rashiba especially again for those who need it there are those of you who don't need it anymore. You will just listen to your own guidance. 
okay but this is so that you can make the most of it remember this is a very auspicious time so from now till the well hopefully august 8th and for those who book rashi bus sessions um this week i will do everything before the peak before august 8th okay so that you get full benefit of you know when these energies climax it's very important okay so that's it um i'll leave you with a rashiba ad and okay so very nice message take care bye